Girl Meet City is here in downtown Birmingham and we are at the historic Tutwiler Hotel. We're so excited to show you around, so let's go ahead and go inside, shall we? The Tutwiler was founded in 1914 and named after Major Edward M. Tutwiler. Along with the amazing staff, this gorgeous hotel has been an essential part of Birmingham travel for over a century. First things first, we had to get coffee. All the coffee and all the food. We went to the amazing O. Henry's Coffee in Homewood. Coffee makes me a happy girl, coffee makes me dance. All of the reviews I read about O. Henry's did not let me down. Sounds like a winner. This locally owned coffee shop is some of the best I've ever had. My latte was outstanding, and my friend George's chai latte was great too. We even got a little advice from a local. Do you think I should get whipped cream? Of course, treat yourself. Everything about this place is amazing. I could probably marry coffee. Coffee could keep you warm at night. We should propose right now. After coffee, we were off to do a little bit of shopping. M. Lavender was beautiful. The owner was so gracious and wonderful to let us explore for a bit. And of course, you have to love a local place that lets their pet be a stylist. Ziggy, what's your opinion? Think I can pull it off? Yeah. Having too much fun causes a girl to get hungry. It was time for lunch. And let me tell you, this place did not disappoint. We're at Saul's Soul Kitchen, and of course, we could not come to Birmingham, Alabama without going somewhere that had barbecue and soul food. It's a small place. There's only about six tables inside. So that's why there are a bunch of picnic tables in the alleyway. And actually, you see us just kind of sitting here with our food in our lap. After stepping inside, our whole crew decided they needed to try it too. We got to try a little bit of everything. It was so good though, I didn't want to share once I took my first bite. You had the pulled pork. Classic. It was amazing. Classic soul food. I'm really glad that you guys let me sample that because that, that sauce was amazing too. So good. Alabama barbecue just has something really special to it anyway that you can't find anywhere else. And then you also got the fried green tomatoes. I did. I was going for the uh, the true authentic experience of soul food. And then I had the sweet tea chicken, the sweet potato fries, cheese grits, the pulled pork, fried green tomatoes, and then also the deviled eggs. The music is amazing. The weather is beautiful. It's just couldn't ask for anything more for lunch in Birmingham. After a brief reprieve from our busy day earlier, we were off to the award-winning Highlands Bar and Grill in the Five Point South neighborhood. Now, not only is Frank Stitt a James Beard award-winning chef, but he's also a local. Originally from Coleman, Alabama, after years of working around the world, he wanted to come back to his roots and bring his flair to Birmingham. Before they opened for the day, the restaurant staff was gracious enough to give us a tour. I was able to learn all about the restaurant and their menu in preparation for the big decision later. What to order for dinner? At dinner that night, I was treated to one of the best meals of my life. Our server suggested that we create a tasting menu. The courses kept coming, and it was sublime. After a wonderful Saturday evening in the city, we decided to start our morning off right, a zipline tour at Red Mountain Park. The tour coordinator, Casey, told us all about the park and what adventure we were about to go on. Red Mountain Park is a really cool urban community. We're made up of 1,500 acres. You're gonna go on seven different zips, tree to tree, with a Tarzan swing and a wonky bridge with a 10 foot lower off at the very end. Little did I know, I had definitely worn the wrong shoes. You didn't tell me before I packed. Whoops. Luckily, our expert guides were able to help me along the way. Everything at Red Mountain is beautiful. Zipping through the trees, the cool breeze blowing, and the sun shining down is nearly a perfect morning. The Birmingham Museum of Art was founded in 1951, but its roots actually go back to 1908 with the founding of the Birmingham Arts Club. It has one of the largest collections in the Southeast with over 24,000 paintings from multiple cultures. Some artists include John Singer Sargent, Mary Cassatt, and Georgia O'Keeffe. There's Asian art, there's Native American art, there's African art, there's even Renaissance and Baroque art. It's amazing the amount of diversity there is in this museum. After the variety of excursions we had in the past 24 hours, it was time to experience some of the history too. The Birmingham Civil Rights District is a part of downtown Birmingham where several significant events of the Civil Rights Movement took place in the 1950s and 60s. The district is a six-block area that was designated by the City of Birmingham in 1992. 
Behind us is Kelly Ingram Park, the scene of several protests during the Civil Rights Movement and where police famously turned dogs and water hoses on many young protesters. And this is why this place, which was once a spot of revolution, has become a place of reconciliation. Several of the surrounding landmarks in the area include the 16th Street Baptist Church, the Civil Rights Institute, and the Carver Theater. What a weekend. I can't wait to come back and see you again, Birmingham. See y'all next time. Catch me, catch me, if you can. Catch me, catch me, catch me, if you can. Catch me if you can, and if you do, then I applaud it. If you don't, then I don't fall, because I never said you ought to. There's been times in my life that I felt I had no one to talk to. I hustle like my coach could tell me.